I'm going to show you in this video how to make a weekly review in Notion. It's super easy. Honestly, it takes like two minutes. The questions or the the weekly review uh, template that I'm using is actually coming from this productivity template that I'm making. So it's going to be my first actual paid product that I'm launching. Uh, I've had a lot of people asking when this is going to come out. So it's coming out soon. I've been putting a lot of effort into it. I really want to make it like an awesome product. I do want to launch it as soon as possible. Um, but I really want to make a good product. So um, yeah, I think it would be cool to make a video and uh, get your feedback and then actually launch it after I've made the changes or... Okay, enough about that. Let's walk through how to make a weekly review template. So I recommend doing your weekly reviews and your journals in the same place. And I actually do my journaling and weekly reviews in my normal uh, calendar. So my one calendar actually houses everything that I do. This makes it a lot easier not having like 50 different databases that you're working with. So I've created a new database. It's a calendar view. To make this full screen, just go up here to the top, click that, full width. I'm going to show you two things in this video, how to make a template for your weekly review, and then how to actually view all of them in a list format. So to make a template, all you do is go up in this database, next to the new, click that down arrow and click new template. Then we can just call this weekly review, the little icon to it. Now these are the questions that I use, but you can obviously do whatever you want. But A, I want to just check that I've transferred all my weekly notes into the correct folder. That way I actually know, okay, I've put them in the right folder so I can easily find them when I need to find this information. Next, looking at the task list completed this week, do I feel like I accomplished enough? That one's fairly straightforward. What were my biggest distractions this week? What most people do is they wait till the end of the year to set a New Year's resolution. At, oh, I'm going to use my phone less. I like having this question in here. That way it causes me to reflect every single week. Like, oh, okay, I actually got really distracted watching YouTube. Oh, okay, I got really distracted um, by constantly jumping from one project to another. And then knowing this week, maybe I should focus on time blocking more. Or this week I should focus on uh, putting a YouTube blocker on. Or whatever it is. It's just a really good way of... Um, reflecting every single week instead of waiting once a month or once a year to do a reflection on what's actually holding you back. Speaking of, the next question, what are my biggest bottlenecks at the moment? Bottleneck analysis is basically just a fancy business term for understanding what's like the main uh, issue or like inefficiency in a business. Um, so you can have this in your life in every single area of your life. What's the biggest bottleneck at the moment for your business? What's the biggest bottleneck for school? What's the biggest bottleneck for working out, eating healthy, yada yada? If you can figure out your biggest bottlenecks at the moment, then you know for the next week what to like focus on. So as an example, what's the biggest bottleneck at the moment for um, this YouTube channel? It's that I'm not posting enough. So I need to prioritize then this week to actually make a video. And that should be prioritized and put into a time block like, okay, cool, I know this week, the focus, like the one thing that can actually move my business forward for this YouTube channel would be to make a video. So that should be the priority. What's the biggest bottleneck? I'm not making videos. By the way, subscribe. Then on a positive note, what did I do that really helped move the needle? Now this next bit here is to do with the productivity template that I'm building. Change these items importance to move the needle if they've had a big impact. So we can ignore that for now, but subscribe if you want to see that template. You basically want to know what did I do this week that actually had a big impact. Most people go about their day just kind of randomly doing tasks and you never really have time to reflect like, oh, that one hour I spent on Tuesday actually had a really big impact because it allowed me to have a meeting with this person or I actually really progressed on this project. So if you can sit down and understand what were these tasks, what were the things that you did that had a really big impact, you know then to prioritize and make more time for that in the following week. And then lastly, just the thing about habits, looking at my habits this week, do I feel like I did enough? If so, what helped me stick to those habits? If not, what can I do to actually stick to my habits next week? If you struggle with sticking to habits, I think literally writing out and reflecting on the habits has a really big impact. Like if, uh, if I take working out as an example, if so, what helped you stick to these habits? Oh, it actually really helped if I did them first thing in the morning. Oh, it really helped if I bought myself a treat as an example, uh, then I felt more motivated to do it. Or if not, for example, uh, I didn't have enough energy to go work out. Why not? Well, I've had a lot on my plate. How do you fix that? Then you know, oh, okay, maybe I should have less on my to-do list. That way I will actually have the energy to go work out. So as you can see, these journaling questions are actually really uh, practical. I prefer answering questions that actually give me an actionable step to take. But obviously, if you want to change it, do whatever you want. So I'll actually show you how to change it. So that is the template there that we created. Now, as you can see, there's no entries. 
if we click plus here at an item, you will see the template here, weekly review. Now the weekly review has been added. If you make any changes here, that will not change the template. That is just adding it to this one item. If you want to change the template itself, so let's say you don't like uh, having this at the top here, then what you do is you go up to here, see this here, and then you click on these three dots and click edit. Now when you click on edit, you can change this and get rid of that. Now when you click away and create a new item, you will see that it is no longer there. Now last thing, I'm going to show you how you can view all of your weekly reviews in a list form. So let's say you do your weekly reviews every single Friday. I'm just going to duplicate these like that. Now you have all of them here. If you want to quickly just go through all of these reviews now, what we can do is create a list. So all we're going to do is go up here and click the plus here next to calendar view. And actually by default, it's created a table view. So in a table view or a list view, you can then actually see this all in a list. And then when you click here on open, you can view all of these individually. Obviously there's nothing filled in for these. So that's how to do a weekly review. It's super simple. Obviously I haven't made it very pretty or exciting or anything. If you want to learn how to make a nice looking notion, then watch this video right here. And if not, I look forward to seeing you in the next video when I show off my productivity template.